Hey guys, it's me, and I know I've been away for a little bit, for a couple weeks. Um, I've kind of been roughly following what's going on with Amber and stuff like that. I have been watching a little bit of her of her uh, videos through some reacts, but I've been busy doing some other things and stuff like that. Um, I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. I uh, don't want this video to be as long as my other ones. But I did want to get something out there for you guys. And out of her past few videos, I wanted to react to this one. And I actually have not seen this one yet fully through. All I know is that she caught a lot of flack for the thumbnail and everything. I'm going to give my opinions. Um, just so you know, guys, here on my channel, I go about my opinions from a health and fitness and uh, medical standpoint for the most part. I do have a medical background. I am on a weight loss, uh, I hate, the, they, they've bastardized the word journey so much. I, um, I am sharing my own weight loss story in time. I'm going to be giving my first update of the year uh, at the end of January, uh, at the end of February, since it's February now. Um, let you know what I'm doing and everything. But I am going to give my opinion on Amber and what's going on. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm not, I, I don't try to be purposefully mean, but I don't believe in some of like being like some of these channels that, that tiptoe around and use baby gloves with, with Amber and everybody else. I don't believe that we should be censored from uh, speaking honest truths. Um, some people don't like that if you aren't saying anything that is amazing and wonderful and perfect about them, then you shouldn't say it. That's not how life works, especially when you put yourself on the internet. So Amber needs to be willing to take the harsh criticisms with the good ones. That being said, let's get into this and see what she says. I will give my opinion. My personal opinion is I don't think she's going to go through with weight loss surgery. Um, I think she's manipulating for the sake of views and money um, for her new French audience. Um, you know, and they've actually really hurt her her views, <laughs> ironically enough. Um, let's get into this. I will say my piece and let me know in the comments how you feel, what you think. Do you think Amber is going to go through with this? I know I heard recently she got approved by her psychologist that did the evaluation, but as other people have said, by, no she, by now she knows what to say to pass that um, evaluation. It is the physical tests that I would worry about. Her sleep apnea, I'm sure she has it. Her sleep studies, all, all all that type of stuff. So I'm curious to see where it goes, how far she drags it out. Some people think Jade gave her an ultimatum. I don't think, I, I don't know if Jade's getting bored with not being able to go do things with her girlfriend and stuff. I wonder if maybe Jade has a, a, a girlfriend on the side or online. I think Jade is perfectly fine with Amber being morbidly obese. It's just, is it to the point where Amber's uh, getting too far for, for Jade to handle even? Because uh, her mobility and stuff is, is very hindered at this point. Okay, I have her sped up uh, for time. I will share her video down in the, in the cards. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to know. I'm going to put her on full screen and let's get going. Hey guys, so... I feel like it's super important that I share this because I'm sharing all of my journey. And she always says that. She always says, I'm being open and transparent. I want to share so much with you guys. And I want to be able to honest. And then like a week later, she's posting something like, or saying something like, there's so much I haven't been telling you guys. So much I haven't been able to tell you. To get weight loss surgery. And... I don't know why, but I just have this overwhelming fear because it's like, I am getting weight loss surgery. I am going to- Okay, that was my, um, ooh, I had a little coughing fit. If you hear that clicking, that's my, um, what is it called? My microphone on my headset. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I've just got such a scratchy throat, but it's kind of normal because after I had COVID, um, I tend to get that frequently. Amber is talking about she is getting weight loss surgery. She's really pushing this narrative and diving, you know, going full method actor into this this uh, version of this story. Um, 
I, I know people said, why is she talking about fear so much? Because she hasn't even got approved, really. It's normal to be afraid, right? You know, I'm not going to give her crap about being afraid. But she is absolutely, it feels like she is setting this up as a reason to not go through with it. I firmly believe we are going to get some reason why this didn't go through like the doctor thought it wasn't for her the doctor thought this she thought that there's going to be a reason my thing is i just can't figure out what reason she's going to give for not going through with it to do anything i can and everything i can to have it happen no you're not amber okay listen this is where i'm getting mad you're not listen to what she just said and she said it like she actually meant it fear because it's like i am getting weight loss surgery I am going to do anything I can and everything I can to have it happen. But she clearly is not because she's already known what she's needed to do. She went to the conference. <clears throat> Even before that, she saw um, on their website, because we know who she's going to see, right? And um, she's gone to other weight loss surgeons and just from even... Uh, talking to people in general about weight loss surgery, she knows what she needs to do and she is not doing anything and everything she says that suddenly now she has willpower and she's watching her diet and doing all it guys no she's not and amber size what last time i heard she had said she'd lost what eight or nine pounds ten pounds since the beginning of january okay and this is like february at that point, that's a fluctuation for Amber at her size. She is easily, she might even be heavier than she's admitting. To me, I, I think she looks like she's around 530 pounds. If she was truly doing what she was supposed to, she wouldn't be eating takeout. She wouldn't be eating processed foods. She'd be trying to cut out the, the soda pop more. She is basically maintaining her weight which means she is not doing everything she can. She needs over 3,500, 4,000 calories a day to maintain her weight. There is, she's not even cutting back to like 2,500, 2,800. If she was doing what she said she was doing and doing anything, she would have been easily down at least 35, 45, 50 pounds by now. At least 30. Because People, I know what she said, it's like ridiculous, that's unreasonable. Like, I, I saw somebody quote that. It is not unreasonable for somebody Amber size to lose 30 pounds in a month. If you're 180 pounds, yes, that's unreasonable. But Amber is literally three times, maybe a little bit more, the size she should be. So, no, until I see legitimate weight loss, and I don't see the scale really, so I don't even necessarily believe she's losing. I think she's merely maintaining. Until she's actually making these changes, getting up off her ass and walking, or using the pedal QB Jade Goddard, um, she's not doing everything, right? And there is no reason she can't, her ankle is no excuse. There is no reason she can't, use that QB. It's an exercise you can literally do sitting on your butt. You know, there's no excuse for it. It's the laziest type of exercise you can possibly do. And if her ankle is bothering her and hurting her, whose fault is that? She never went to the therapy and the physical therapy and stuff. You know what I mean? So don't ask for pity, Amber, when you don't do anything you're supposed to do, but you cry and want pity and, and ask Pats and all that. No, and then she gets upset when people are not sympathetic to her. And then the French people are sitting there. Oh, you're just fat phobic. You're all haters, blah, blah, blah. They they fully think that all of this crap should be excused. But no, not in my world. That's not reality. But like, I'm scared. And it's like last time, you know, I had surgery. And the only time I've had surgery was because I had cancer. I had a hysterectomy. And that did not change you. That did not straighten you up. How does cancer not scare you into even even if you don't change how much you eat just eating better she went right back to her old bad habits immediately after that so don't don't tell me that that scared you and all this and that because it, it didn't you know i'm sorry i'm not sure i mean maybe people think i'm harsh and i'm mean but clearly it didn't because she kept doing the same thing to me and it was scary 
and it was terrifying. And the anesthesia... Um, Obviously not that much. Um, ...made my, fight, my face swell a lot. Um, and I did go through the comments a little bit of this video, and I heard somebody say, oh, my face swelling is very normal uh, for anesthesia. Guys, listen to me. I used to administer a lot of medications and stuff as a paramedic, and I did work in a hospital and stuff. Your f actual full face swelling that and getting red, that is not a normal symptom of anesthesia that is like akin to an allergic reaction and it needs to be made note of you need to let a any type of anesthesia doctors know that uh, sore throat stuff like that maybe a little bit of minor minor discomfort itching nausea vomiting a little bit of a grogginess uh, confusion that stuff's all normal for anesthesia but an actual swollen face is not <laughs> I think I had a really bad allergic reaction I don't know um, they didn't really say anything about it they actually said the surgery went amazing but like i have a little anxiety right now um i know it's also amber really stresses like and i think she exaggerates her anxiety and her anxiety attacks i am totally power leveling here and it's not something i'm proud of i have had debilitating anxiety and I, I and I legit PTSD and traumatic stuff, and I think a lot of the stuff she she just completely over dramatizes a lot for the sake of uh, keeping the status of her victim card. Not gonna happen for a while. Like, there's a lot of things I still have to do, but like, just knowing. Yes, Amber, you need to freaking start. I mean that it is going to happen. It's just bringing up a lot of like past memories with like when I had my hysterectomy, and you know things can happen during surgery that are really scary and that's just me being realistic um not even pessimistic at all like no that is true i mean i'll agree with her that that's absolutely true but you know one of the things amber and anybody else out there that like in for amber's case and many people's cases you know what can minimize your risks is losing as much weight as possible leading up to the surgery you know not continuing how you're doing she if her surgery is realistically even going to be like four or five months down the line okay let's say she's not going to have it until like june or july she could be down 80 or 90 100 pounds by then that's a lot safer doing the surgery at 440 430 pounds than at 520 or 30 you know what i mean so she could quell some of these fears and make her risks less by actually making freaking changes. She's changed nothing as far as I'm concerned, and it's annoying as hell. I've been so optimistic about this whole experience, but when you start looking at like the reality of things, and it's a little scary and it's a little daunting, and I just I do. And what is this? I heard her doctor said she's can she only needs to lose a pound. I firmly believe that's bullcrap, and I firmly believe that if he said it, it's just to see if, for a temporary amount of time, she can simply maintain her weight without gaining. They will ask her to lose legit weight before surgery. I do have, like, a little bit of a fear, and I just had a little bit of an anxiety attack. It was a mini one. I don't know. I just, um, I'm anxious. I'm anxious. And... And that's normal, Amber. I'm not giving you crap about being anxious but what are you doing to make the process go the best for you as it possibly can i am impatient because i just want this to get over with i just i wish that more than anything i could just snap my fingers and it's like three months after surgery you know because i feel like three months after surgery like that'll be a really good spot you know i'm like healed you know i'm off the liquid diet see right there it's because she wants to skip all the hard stuff and go back to a point where she's not hurting it's over and she's through the right there that phrase she's over the liquid diet she's eating again she can go back to eating all she's looking forward to all she thinks about is actually the eating and until she changes how she looks at food willing to give up food discomfort the type of until she's willing to admit that it's not just all about the calorie count and food that it's about what you eat the quality the nutritional uh quality of your food she is never going to change she's never going to be successful and she's never going to make long-term progress these people have to completely overhaul their relationship with food 
and their lifestyles. And I just, in my opinion, of course, I do not think Amber has any desire to do that. It, um, I'm getting into the swing of things. I just have um, a little bit of fears and that's okay and that's normal. Like if you're getting weight loss surgery or it's something you're thinking of or whatever it may be, um, if you're scared, just know that it's normal, you know? And yeah, I just, I don't know. Yes, it is normal, Amber. Amber, we understand that. But there are people busting their butts to lose as much weight as they possibly can. They have doctors like Dr. Now who insist they have got to show themselves worthy by losing weight and ready. And I just don't believe that Dr. Smith is going to give you no weight loss requirements. It's crazy because obviously when people... But then again, Amber does not think rules apply to her. She thinks she's special. She thinks she's an exception. And um, she's not. We had surgery is to save their life. But it's like, last time I had surgery was because I was saving my life. And they took cancer out of my body. And this time, like... It'll be again to save my life. Yes, Amber, it'll be to save your life. But <clears throat> other people want you to save your life more than you want to. Like, it didn't, it was to save your life last time and it didn't matter to you. What is different this time? Why do you care about saving your life this time? Nobody can care more than you care, right? It's... Nobody can do it for you. And this is the most frustrating thing is she talks this talk, but she has no, no desire to change. And like for all you French people, if you find me and, and bitch at me about this, she has said this before, but she never actually makes any changes. And that's the frustrating part is at this point, this is like a, a the reality is she doesn't, she says what she wants people knows people want to hear to get views but she she doesn't actually want to change she's so comfortable and happy in her life she she doesn't have to do anything she doesn't have to drive herself she doesn't have to you know jade does almost everything she doesn't even have to walk her own dog she, you know uh, she says she does all this cleaning and organizing i firmly believe she's not because her mobility is so hindered at this point her health is on the decline she basically just gets to sit and be like a couch princess you know what i mean and everybody else does everything for her why you know why would she want she doesn't want to change the people who do make changes want to be independent want to take care of themselves you know don't like the way they're living amber loves it it's a prolonged my life and it's like why did it take me so long Yes, Amber, why did it take you so long? And why, whenever you don't make an excuse to not do it this time, why next year when we're doing this again, will, will, will you be giving us the same speech? I'm hoping she goes through with it this time. I would love to see her be successful. As much as I dislike her as a person, I think she's an awful person. I love to see people changing for the better, getting themselves healthy, losing weight, you know, anything that's good for them. And it can change you as a person. Maybe it could change her, but she would have to be open to self-reflection and self-criticism and admitting that, that a lot, most of this is her own fault and her own doing. And she can't use her, her childhood trauma for all of her Ex as an excuse anymore in her 30s but but amber's not willing to do that she's not that person to get to the point where i cared this much why did it take so long it just took too long and it's like i keep going back to the past maybe jay did give her an ultimatum i don't know like you know i like to watch old vid videos of mine and it's like i don't think i've ever seen <laughs> i bet you do amber seen myself this passionate over weight loss we have amber we've seen you this passionate a lot of the time and it, it just goes by the wayside she absolutely the most astounding thing about amber to me is that she absolutely she can't has no tolerance like a lot of these these obese people do have no tolerance for discomfort which is strange because they let their body get to a state of immense discomfort but she is not willing 
to stick to anything for literally more than a couple days or a few days sometimes not even a day like at least a lot of people can stick to something for a month or two and and she just can't it's literally a matter of just a few days how does she expect to deal with this surgery that's literally life-changing and how bad i want to live no matter how hard this is and how many times i have to say no to bad foods and to overeating and to triggers but no matter how many times Mm, you clearly don't, though, Amber. You're maintaining your weight. So you're not saying no. You're not making changes. Just get out of here with that shit. I have to say no to those things. It's all worth it. Like, I'm not perfect by no means. Like, I'm not just over here, like, being the most perfect. Um, There has been one time where I <laughs> didn't say no. And that happens. That's also... There's been one time... One time. You didn't say no. What? One time today? <clears throat> one time this week? I, I don't believe it. She's still getting takeout. She's still... She. I, I know, like, I saw, like, <clears throat> clips from the one, uh, one video. She's eating pasta. She's supposed to be eating low-carb, high-protein, watching calories. She's not supposed to be eating pasta. If she was changing it, she would be cutting down the carbs. She'd be focusing on proteins and small amounts of good fats and lots of vegetables and then cutting down uh, volume eating at first, but ultimately cutting down the volume because she's not going to have the stomach for the volume. She's not making changes. She still justifies getting takeout, eating all this packaged processed crap, eating snacks, and sh she doesn't need that stuff. I mean, give me a break. She, you know, this is a joke. Realistic. <clears throat> The changes I've made in the last few weeks, it just takes one day. It just literally takes one day for you to just be like, I'm fucking done. I'm done killing myself. And you're not, though, Amber, because you're not changing. You know, you, the changes you've made in the past few weeks, they've been minimal. You had a goal for no takeout in January, and you willingly walked away from it after in the first week. And then excused yourself to get takeout every week, every week. And Jade agree with it. You know, she's, she's not good for you. She's not going to hold you accountable. And you're not going to hold yourself accountable. Like, we will believe you when you actually freaking show us some type of staying power. Because that's what I've been doing. And I just regret more than anything. Amber, if you are making changes, why do you look as big as ever? You can tell, especially since most of her weight is in her lower body and, like, her arms and stuff. But you can tell her weight in her face. And, Amber, your face is as big as it was before you started Ozempic. After you gained all that weight, when you quit Ozempic, you haven't lost any meaningful weight. We would be able to see it in your face. And having to get to this point. If I could go back and talk to myself when I was 13. That 13 year old. She needs love. And she needs compassion. And she needs people. Amber, everybody needs love and compassion. But I'm sorry, this is a joke. People also need some freaking tough love. You need some hard truths. And, and some reality and facts. The reason you're like this is because people have given in to you and coddled you and kissed your butt and get, you've gotten your way your whole life. I know being in foster care sucks. That sucks. I feel bad about that and her parents and, and that. But that, she still had, uh, compared to a lot of people, a fairly privileged, easy childhood. And you can't let that be an excuse for you now. You know, the fact that people walk on eggshells and, and coddle you and, you know, uh, you have certain reaction channels and people saying, you can't say mean things to Amber. You can't talk about her size and her weight and about all the bad things she's done. You can only, only praise her. That's why you're in the situation you're in because you've never been forced to take accountability. You've never been forced to hit a point where you've never had an oh crap moment where you literally, like it or not, had to do the hard stuff you don't want to do. So you don't just need some love. You've gotten too much love. Too love. And maybe I'm just a mean, old school, jerky kind of person, but you know, I didn't grow up getting 
what I got and achieving what I did from people coddling me and giving me a participation trophy and stuff like that. No, it was tough love. It was you do and you try your best and if you don't you if you don't succeed you try harder and you do more and you work work more not amber Over. <laughs> she just didn't have that she didn't it's this entitled like mentality it's toxic and uh things just started spiraling when i was a teenager you know <laughs> I reached 420 pounds when I was 16. And that was like not surprising <laughs> at all. Sorry, I just uh, really felt like I needed to talk. <laughs> and I didn't want to like talk to anyone in particular. Um, I just wanted to talk to my Can camera and talk to you guys more, and have maybe. this moment be documented because it's part of it. <sighs> Tears are part of this journey and fear is part of this journey. Regret and anger, it's all part of it. And I'm not going to shy away from any of that. And I'm not going to let any of the people online who make me feel bad about feeling these emotions i'm not gonna let them stop me from sharing these feelings because amber there's nothing wrong with you feeling your feelings but you have to still just suck it up at some point this is my story and i want to share it with you guys because because you need the money for like the first time ever <clears throat> i know that i'm gonna lose weight okay the first time ever you just know you're gonna lose weight for the like 18th time 20th time 30th time got it and i know that i'm changing my life and that my life is gonna be better yep just like you did last year and the year before and the year before and the year before and oh my god right i've never wanted it more yep that's what you told us before this is a joke ever but i'm just scared i'm scared of like who am i outside of someone who weighs over 450 pounds a mean girl who wants to be a victim and you need to go to therapy and you can change that. A lazy person who doesn't want to do anything for herself, who wants to be surrounded by enablers and entitled, you know, people that leave you be entitled and you can change all that. But you have to be willing to accept that you've brought this on yourself. You have to be willing to do things for yourself, be more independent and you can change, but you have to be willing to. You know, who am I outside of that? I don't know. Without her size, Amber would just be the classic, like, M Regina George mean girl. I don't know. And that's weird for me. For longer than I can remember, just been this person. Like, since I was 16, I've been over 400 pounds. And yeah, there was a moment in my early 20s where um, I reached 331. That was the lowest. The famous 89 pounds. It was just, like, a little <laughs> tiny, tiny piece of my story. And um, it was because I was very unhealthy then and it's like the way that i would eat then was very unhealthy and um i was practically starving myself okay i'm gonna dispel this rumor right now no she was not very unhealthy and practically starving herself when she lost that weight guys she's referring to i think when she lived with crystal her ex-girlfriend and her parents and amber would sneak down into the kitchen at night and eat all the food and eat all the snacks and and gorge herself so it got so bad that crystal's parents had to go full prodder willy freaking prevention and lock up the kitchen and lock up the snacks and the cupboards and everything at night so amber couldn't go down there and do that so amber was eating and she there's there's videos you know proving it out there from that time she was eating a good breakfast a healthy breakfast she was eating lunch she was eating dinner she was eating three meals a day plus maybe one sometimes two reasonable snacks a day she was not starving herself she was eating normally and the reason she lost that weight was because outside forces somebody else had the control because amber lived there they paid her she they controlled the food and stuff like that so she was not doing anything severely unhealthy she was not starving you know that that pisses me off that she, she's saying this right now because because um it's just not true amber was not starving and anybody who was confused about there, I, I hope I cleared that up. For a little bit. 
and I, I have shared that before it's like i can't even be proud of that moment because the way that i was doing it was so unhealthy because no it wasn't unhealthy because you had nothing to do with it it was not your choice it was out of your control and i was i was just in a dark spot and i can't even be proud yeah, because, oh my God, heaven forbid Amber not have access to all the food she wants in whatever quantities she wants 24 hours a day. Heaven forbid she have to have some type of self-control like the rest of us. Of that moment. I can't at all. But I'm going to be able to be proud of this one because I'm, I'm doing it and I'm doing it right. I would love to see you do it, Amber. I'm not going to lie. I would love to see you do it. She always says, and people say, oh, nobody would watch her if she lost weight. She would lose a, a number of viewers, but she could rebrand and she would get new viewers who want to be inspired and, and stuff like that. If she would be willing to work, it would be actual more work. She could totally rebrand her channel. And I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it because I love life and I love, it's not even like the big things. It's not even like, I love love and I love family and I love my fur babies. You hardly have any association with your family. Okay, like you use them when you need pity points in your video. You never see them. They don't, you have almost nothing to do with them. They don't want anything to do with you. What? Oh, geez, oh man. She has no friends, no family hardly. <clears throat> All she has is her enabling girlfriend. But it's like small things. I love blankets and music and fireworks and... And rainbows and sprinkles and unicorns. God. Holidays. Like, I love the small things. And I just don't want my life to stop. I don't. And... I, I wonder if something happened. If she had some type of tests <clears throat> for this surgery and she was maybe told something about her health. Maybe it was confirmed she had sleep apnea. I don't know if she did a sleep study, study test or a blood test. Did the doctor uh, maybe mention her blood tests? Like something came back on her blood test. Maybe she was told she was diabetic. I, I don't know, because I, I don't know. I know she's behind in filming and she doesn't share everything. But if she's really this upset about, I, I can, oh, my only take is, is that she was told something she really doesn't like, because she tends to get like this when she has a health scare. So I'm wondering if she, she had heard something or something was speculated that's scaring her. She gets over it, of course, but, you know, we see this for a little bit. I also don't want it to continue with me being this unhealthy. I know I can fix this. I know I can change this. And yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, actually. <laughs> if you guys see this, then I decided to. Of course you are, Amber. Upload it, obviously. Duh. My face is breaking out. <laughs> Topic change. We're right here. We're right here. We have a little something here. Right next to. I used to have my um, lips pierced. I had to. Yeah, we know that. Don't really break out much. My psychologist appointment is actually coming up. Um, I'm gonna be evaluated, and I'm really, really. And after she made this, she did have that and say she was like approved and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Nervous, but excited to get this over with because I feel like they're gonna really tell me like what I need to do to help appear. I just want. Amber, you've had several chances to have therapists to tell you what to do. The last year, you've chosen to see a Hayes therapist, which basically told you everything you want to hear. You don't want to do the hard work. I do whatever they tell me, really. I think I'm going to put on, I don't know, some YouTube or something and do some more Legos and kind of just... So the same thing you do all the time. Um... Have a good rest of the night. Um, Feline is actually currently sleeping. No, she can't hear me. She actually has um, sister wives playing um, while she's sleeping. So I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but she's on the other side of the apartment. Um, she can't hear me. You mean Jade? Yeah, Jade's sleeping. Me at all. But yeah, I didn't want to like wake her up and like bombard her with my tears. I actually feel so much better after talking to you guys. It's so crazy how just like talking to you guys, it, can, it just helps a lot. It's just like, I felt super heavy in my chest with emotion. That's the cardiomyopathy, Amber. That's probably a heart condition or something <laughs> not diagnosing and i told you guys those emotions so now i feel better so thank you thank you for uh, listening to me and for being my friends you didn't have to click on the video and you did because you wanted to hear me and what i had to say i think that's also what makes it easier is because like i don't i'm very uh, i used to be such an open book with people in my life and now i just like i keep a lot of things to myself and i didn't see what i just say earlier in the video she talks about how Oh, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm sharing. And now she's talking about how she closes off things. She did used to share a lot more, but she can't now because uh, she can't share Jade. So she, she does. Get, plus, she's like embarrassed. And she, she, if she was totally honest and showed everything in her life, her lies would all come to the surface. I don't know what it is. I just, 
I don't want to burden people. You can tell are me 500 you different things that say... I'm going to burden. And I just, I still feel like one. You are a burden, Amber. I'm not trying to be mean. People your size who live how you do, you are a burden. Right now, you do make your own money. But if you didn't, you would inevitably become a burden to our medical system and to our welfare system and stuff like that. Something that you, you know, to the people around you. I mean... If you don't want to be a burden, then make the freaking changes. Trauma. No. Um, but it's like, if you guys... Amber, if I hear about your freaking trauma... Ugh, one more time. We all have trauma. Everybody has gone through stuff. I have gone through... I went through a legitimately more effed up childhood in many ways than Amber did. And I am still not a fucking... Oops, I'm so sorry. I am not a 500 pound victim... You know what I mean? I, it's, I, I've been through a lot. Like, even over the past few years, the most traumatic year of my life was 2016. And tough as I may be, I'm, I'm still trying to better myself. And I've done the work and I've gone to therapy. Last year, I was making videos and stuff regularly. Something happened in November that was extremely traumatizing to my family, to me and my uh, other half. And... It really messed me up to the point where I stopped uploading, stopped getting on social media, stopped associating the the small amount I do. I'm a real private person. I live, you know, I stopped associating and reaching out to people in my real life. I was very traumatized. I have legitimate diagnosed PTSD from this event. Um, and I thought about maybe uploading a video about it uh, one of these days because it is a situation that I feel like people should know about that if somebody else does go through it, it would kind of help to know that they're not alone. Um, I, I might now that it's a, a couple a few months out and, and I'm a little in a, in a better headspace. But trauma is not an excuse to not suck it up and do what you need to do. Click on my video. You came here yourself. So I don't feel like a burden. Does that make sense? Because you guys are choosing to listen to me? I don't even know what I'm saying. I know. We're suckers for punishment, Amber. <laughs> um, it makes sense in my head. And I used to do a lot of, like, video diaries, like, when I first started YouTube, like, 2014 style. I, start, I started YouTube in 2013, but 2014, I used to do, like, um, talking about Amberland videos is what I called them, I think. And then just, like, a lot of video diary type style things. And they always made me feel better. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. I don't know if she's going to go on anything else, but I don't think she's making any changes. She doesn't look like she's making any changes. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think she's going to make changes. I'm going to go. I have to run some errands. I have to go to the store. <laughs> and um, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry if I was angry. I dropped the F-bomb. I apologize. YouTube, please do not strike my video down. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about yes or no is she is she going to actually go through with the surgery <laughs> and has she made changes i will be uploading uh, some other videos about some fat acceptance stuff and things like that some uh, uh low carb keto dieting type videos and stuff like that because that's kind of what i do that's my thing uh and thank you for watching if you're new here thank you for for stopping by uh like and subscribe and uh if you are a returning viewer i appreciate the views my channel is little i don't know if it'll ever get off the ground but i'm gonna do my thing and we'll see where it goes and i still like associating with the people i get to associate with in the meantime i will see you guys in the next one have a good one bye